So day three of three, keeping it up so far. Uh, this is Street Fighter 5, this is on the PlayStation 5. So always I'm testing with the Brook Universal Fight Board. I'm using the PS5 add-on, obviously, given it's working, and that lets me test across various different games. And I think uh, we'd all kind of hoped that on release the PS5 would be faster, um, or at least equal in input lag. The results have been a little bit uh, disappointing since then. Uh, so certainly, I think if games are programmed to take advantage of the hardware, then they can be faster. I think where it's just a PlayStation 4 version um, running on the PlayStation 5, then potentially there is a little bit of input lag. Um, I guess there's the potential for uh, Unreal Engine games like this, where if they, if the kind of fluctuations between epochs, if the um, reason would be sometimes, as you can see here, in the 60s and then 70s, and then sometimes in the 70s and 80s, if that was processor dependent, uh, then I guess it's possible that the additional processing power would help, but uh, it's all a little bit up in the air. Uh, from time to time I get questions on Twitter asking why things are the way they are. I don't really think that's my position to answer. Um, I'm more just presenting the information and, and then kind of ideas as to why things should be uh, probably hand along to someone else with a different interest or knowledge base. And so anyway, I'll let this one run on for a little bit longer. Um, just so that hopefully we can smooth out those epochs that you can see are occurring. And then uh, once that's done, uh, probably at some point soon, have to look to write up the results and post them along with the videos I've been making.